We're going to talk about another way you can save and load data on your games in GameMaker, and you can do this through INI files. So to create an INI file, you just say INI open, and then within parentheses, you're going to write whatever you want the file to be. So we're just going to name it settings.ini. <clears throat> and then we're going to say INI close. And within here, we're actually going to write our data. Now, make sure you always do INI close because that kind of writes the data. So it's very important to do. Um, okay, so we're in the create event. Uh, so this is actually just going to, this is obviously an example, but this will actually create the file. And we're going to write some data. We're going to say INI write, and we're just going to say, uh, of course, you have these two options. You have real or string. Real is numbers. Strings are strings. That's your text within quotations. So we're going to say write uh, real. And then you want to define a section. So you can uh, just put these double quotations here. And you can name it whatever you want. You could say, like, volume, and then the key. Um, actually, let's do this. Let's do, like, sound settings. And then we want the key, so we can name that volume. And then we could put the, uh, the, the value of our volume, which could be, like, 1, 0 out of 1 for our volume. Okay, so there's our first um, setting. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to keep this under sound settings, and I'm also going to do, like, you could do like effects, uh, and then you know this could be a number. Uh, you could do another one called uh, uh, you know BGM, which is background music, and then we could put like the S and D under slash song one. I could do that as a string. So I'm going to change this from real to string. Okay, so we we've wrote two numbers, and then we've wrote a string. Uh, now we can also do that. I'm just, again, these are just examples. Now I'm going to change this from sound settings to, um, to like, you know, graphics. And then we could say, you know, resolution. Uh, and then we could do something like, uh, you know, 1080. And I could change this from string back to real. Okay, th th this is enough. So you can get the idea. So I'm going to run the game. And this is actually going to create the INI file. Even though you can't see it, because that object's in the game, uh, it ran this create event. And it saved the uh, INI file right here, which it's C users and then whatever your username is, uh, app data, local, and then whatever your game maker file is, which ours is called save tutorial. And there we are right here, settings. Um, so if I double click this, there's our settings that I saved. Um, I think we can zoom in, yeah. So we have sound settings right here. We have our different keys, which is volumes, effects, background music, um, and then we have graphics, our resolution. You can see it's all just saving, just like that. So these, uh, I mean, this is all there is to it. And, and INI files is a very easy way to save data uh, and load it. So to load it, you would just, we're going to put this uh, key press space event. We're going to say INI open, because every time you want to uh, access data, you do have to open it. And then we're going to say INI close, and then within here, we can access any data we want. So we could say VAR, um, uh, let's see, let's say uh, volume. Let's say we want our volume equals INI read. Now, again, you got to define, do you want to read a number or a string? You have INI read real or INI read string. Well, because uh, our volume is a real, it's a, it's a number here. We're going to say real. And then what we're going to do within that is... Uh, put our section, which is sound settings, and then we're going to say volume. And then your last argument is the default choice. So if, for whatever reason, sound settings and, volu or, and or volume is not in there, uh, you can give it like a default value. So we're just going to say, uh, like, you could put undefined, or you could put no one, or you could put some, some kind of default number like one. So if that setting's not there, it's just going to be one you know, or, or whatever. Or you could say, like, undefined. And then you could throw an error uh, to where... Uh, maybe you can't put undefined. Maybe we could put no one, though. You can't. Well, what can we put? Okay, well, let's throw in an error. So just, just put something, but you could still put, like... Yeah, you could put, like, minus four or something. You could put a number in there and then check for an error that the sound setting's gone. So we could say, uh, if volume equals minus four, meaning this setting is not there, then, uh, you know, game and, you know, you could, you could show a message, hey, there's an error, it's not working. So, uh, you know, there's a lot you could do here. So we're going to 
saying between there. Uh, show, uh, you know, yeah, let's do it this way. So if volume uh, is not equal to minus four, show message volume. Okay, else uh, show message critical error game end. Okay, so we even have a, a little error check here. So of course it's going to show message volume because we know it's in there. So let's run the game. When we click space, number one. Okay. But now if we deleted this and then ran the game again, actually we don't even need to run the game again. Space. Um, oh yeah, it's going to run the create event every time. So let's comment out the create event. Now let's delete volume. Now if we run it, <clears throat> click space, critical error, it's going to end the game. So there's a little error check. The first time it, it didn't work because um, it, it was running the create event and re-adding sound every time. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, it, it, it's a very easy way. And of course, you could load as much data as you want. You, you, could, add, you could load any, anything you need. Now, another thing I'd recommend adding when it comes to INI files is to check if a file exists. Uh, you have a lot of file functions within GameMaker, and GameMaker normally works out of this folder right here. So we're going to say in our create event, if um, exclamation mark file exists, uh, actually, even before that, I'm going to say this, var file, uh, yeah, settings under slash file equals string settings ini. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to say if Exclamation mark means if this is false. Okay, if we didn't have it, it would say if it's, you know, if the file exists. Put an exclamation mark here means if it doesn't exist. And then we're going to say settings file. And we're going to wrap all of this within here. And I'm going to change settings.ini here to settings file. Okay, we can just run this variable so we don't have to keep typing it. That way we can just change this. It changes everything else. Okay, so now it's going to say if file does not exist, then create your settings file. That way it doesn't create it anew every single time. Um, and then, of course, you could put like another event somewhere and you can change all of these just by saying write and, and it will overwrite anything. So if we ran like I and I write, write real in the same thing and we put like 100 in a different event, it's going to overwrite whatever is there. And that's it. Um, that's really all there is to it. I, I do recommend doing a file exist everywhere. Uh, even here, like in our space event, we should have it right here. We should say if file exists, settings, da da da. Um, that's just a good way to do it because if it doesn't exist, you're just going to get an error and the game's going to crash. So make sure things exist. Um, and I think I think that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you next video. Follow me on x x.com slash was dirty. Join the Discord. Thank you for liking, subscribing, all that fun stuff. Engaging with the content shows these videos to more people. Come on, we've been doing daily updates. I'm going to try to do this for one year, which is insane. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow.